Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. Back again to do another beer review for you. I'm going to do a Brew York beer. I've decided this afternoon I'm going to use this natural light that's coming in. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a Brew York beer for you. Um, what I ordered off the Top Rope website. Um, and this is the Kai Juice. And it's a 4.8% American Pale Ale. And there it is there. Um, Top Rope websites haven't got any of this left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link um, Brew York website below. Who certainly have got some of this left. If you wish to purchase, you can. Not sure what it cost me. I can't remember. I got it sort of early last month. So what I'm tends to do because I'm working from home. Um, I'm buying me, I get paid. Buy me being the start of the month and making it last till the end. And then when I get paid again, repeat the cycle. So 4.8%. That's what it says on the side. Whether you, you uh, flavour... Whether you favour Godzilla, King Kong, Mothra, or Mecha Godzilla, uh, the kaiju are legends uh, of the big screen. Kaiju Kaiju is a juicy uh, beast of an American pale, loaded with Columbus, Mosaic, and Simcoe. Um, does not contain kaiju, and as you can see on the can, they, if I'm not mistaken, is Godzilla. And for those of you who like Godzilla, we uh, might remember from basically from the cartoon when I was a kid, with Godzuki. Mm, yeah, well. So, like it says on the on the said on the we've got Hopsy, we've got Columbus, uh, Columbus T90 and Cryo. We've got Mosaics T90 and Cryo. We've got Simcoe T90 and Cryo, and we've got Malts or uh, Extra Pale Vienna, um, Flaked Oats and a Sedated Malt. It says that there, and then obviously you can see a uh, Dry Hopping. We've got three out of five for Dry Hopping, and it's hoppy and it's fruity. So, let's get this bad boy into a can and see what we get going. And this possibly could be the last one of the day for me. Um, but you never know. I may get a little bit tempted with a hit with a high ABV beer later on. If you want me to do a high ABV later on, please throw a comment in. You'll have until about eight o'clock UK time. So. Being a glass, what have we got? We've got ourselves a gold coloured beer. It looks quite nice actually. I again let's try and give us some of this carbonation. It was clinging to the glass like for, for dear life. But yeah, it's a copper coloured beer. And we've got two fingers of spongy white head. It looks quite nice. Let's get a nose stuck in and see what we can smell. Let's go for it. it smells good. You know, I'm getting. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it smells like a decent American. It smells like a decent, a decent pale ale, sorry. Um, I'm getting fruit, um, not loads of it. Yeah, a little bit of floral. Um, there's some, there's some grapefruit in there. Hints of tropical. Peach. A little bit of orange. Tangerine. It smells like, to be fair, if I'm being honest with you, it smells like an IPA more than it does a, a pale ale. But let's go for the body and carbonation. Cheers. Body's light. Um, carbonation's soft and lingers. It, does, it lingers around, but it's soft. Taste wise, it's pretty much what you're getting on the. On the on the aroma. Let's go for a big old gobble. Yeah, again, the, the, compared to what I've had in the last couple of reviews, flavours are a little bit held back, a little bit subdued. Um, but it's fruity, there's a nice dryness to it. There's a nice dry finish, which is really good. Um, it just, just sucks the moisture out your mouth. And that's probably about it. I mean, it suggests the suggestions of fruit, the suggestions of this tropical thing going on. But what you what you tend to get is just overriding dryness. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's a sessionable beer, yes. It 
it's not great. It's no whale beater. I've had better pale ales, certainly. I've had better American pale ales, certainly. I've had worse, definitely. Um, I would like to try this on on a on a tap. I think this might be better. It's one of these ones that's better on tap than it is in a can. It's not fantastic. It's not, but it's not duff. It's not duff. Do I like it? It's all right. Would I buy it again? Nah. Would I recommend it to friends? If they bought it, what would you think? I'd say it's, it's yeah. No, so no one wouldn't recommend it to friends. It's a shame, really. Because a lot of the New York stuff, I do recommend. Um, but no, I wouldn't recommend this one. It's not a bad beer. It's just not my cup of tea, if I'm being honest with you. So there you go. So, Kai Juice by Brew York, the uh, American Pale Ale, 4.8. Do I like it? Not really. Would I buy it from Interfriends? No. Would I buy it again? No. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so if you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. Um, thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs up if you don't. Subscribe down there. The usual stuff. There it is. You get off the Brew York website. I'll put that link down there. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey Leo, stay safe, stay at home.